In this video, we will discuss manipulating images. Copying allows you to create a new image independent of the original. Consider the following image array using PIL or OpenCV. We can use the ID function to find the object's memory address. If we assign the baboon array to A, using the ID function, we see the memory address is the same as the original array. If we apply the method copy and assign it to B, we see that the memory address is different. Each column in the following table displays the image arrays and its corresponding memory address. If we set all the elements to the baboon array to zero using the following lines of code, the array A will change as it points to the same locations in memory as baboon. The result is both the baboon array and array A will be zero, but because we used the copy method array B will be unaffected. You don't have to copy images all the time, but if you see this behavior in your code, it is a common mistake. Flipping images changes the image's orientation. We can flip an image by changing the index value of a pixel or intensity. Consider the following array. If we convert the column indexes to row indexes, the image will have a different orientation or will become flipped. For example, if we overlay the following image where the second and fifth columns are comprised of several white lines, after we convert the indexes, the vertical lines will appear horizontal. For color images, we can convert all the color channels at the same time. Let's try PIL. PIL has several different ways to flip an image. We can use the image ops module. We can flip the image using the flip function. We can also mirror the image using the mirror function. We can use the transpose method. The image module has built-in attributes to describe the type of flip. In the case of the flip top bottom function, we flip the image upside down. Let's look at how to flip images using OpenCV. OpenCV has several ways to flip an image. We can use the flip function. We have the input image array. The parameter is the flip code. If the parameter flip code equals zero, it will flip vertically around the y-axis. We can also use the rotate function. OpenCV module has built-in attributes to describe the type of flip. The values are represented by integers. In the case of the rotate 90 clockwise, it rotates the input image 90 degrees clockwise. Guess how to manipulate images one pixel at a time. We will discuss cropping, changing image pixels. Consider the following grayscale image. Each pixel or intensity is a value in an array with its own index. For rows, we start at the top of the image and move down. For columns, we start at the left of the image and move right. Let's work on the following toy example. Instead of looking at the intensities, let's look at the array index. We will call it array 1. Cropping is cutting out the part of the image and throwing out the rest. We can use slicing to select the rows 2 to 4. This corresponds to the following elements in the image. We can use slicing to select columns using 1 and 2. The result is the following pixels. We can assign it to the variable A. The new array has the following indexes. We also perform slicing on multiple channels. The colon indicates to select each channel. The result is the following rows and columns are selected. Like before, we can assign it to a new array. We can load PIL images and CV arrays. We can perform a vertical crop. The variable upper is the first row that we would like to include in the image. The variable lower is the last row we would like to include. We then use slicing to obtain the new image. We can also crop horizontally. The variable right is the first column that we would like to include in the image. The variable left is the last column we would like to include in the image. We can also apply crops to the PIL image objects. We can change image pixel values. Consider the image intensities of all zeros. We can change the following elements to 255 by setting the array values in the array accordingly. The results would be a rectangular box. We can draw simple shapes. Consider the image intensities of all zeros. We can set the following columns to 255 in row 4. We can also change the following elements. The result looks like a face. We can do the same thing for color image arrays. We specify the rows and columns we'd like to change, but we also specify the channel we'd like to change. 
in this case the red channel. The following elements will change. The image will look like this. We can also paste or superimpose part of one image onto another. We would like to add a blue box in image A to image I. We know the rows and columns that make up the blue box. We can reassign those values to image I. The result is the image values will be reassigned and the box will be on image I. Let's see some PIL. We can also use the PIL image draw module to draw PIL image objects. We will copy the image. The draw constructor creates the object image underscore FN. This can be used to draw on the image image underscore draw. We can draw a rectangle using the rectangle method. Two important parameters include XY, the coordinates bounding box and fill the color of the rectangle. This will change the image object underscore draw. There are other shapes we can use. For example, we can overlay text on an image. We can use the image font module to obtain fonts. We use the text method to place the text on the image. The parameters include XY. This is the top left anchor coordinates of the text. The parameter text, the text to be drawn, and fill is the color to use for the text. Consider the image crop underscore image of a cat. We also have the image underscore Lena. We can superimpose the image of the cat over image Lena. All we need is the coordinates indicating where to paste the picture. We use the paste method. The input is the image we would like to superimpose, and the box parameter specifies the top left corner of the image you would like to paste. We can also use OpenCV functions to perform pixel manipulations. We can also create shapes and OpenCV. We can use the method rectangle. The parameter PT1, that is left top, is the top left coordinate of the rectangle. Pause the video and take a look. PT2 is the bottom right coordinate right and lower point. Finally, we have the color and thickness. We can overlay text over an OpenCV array image using the function put text. The parameter text is the string you would like to overlay. Org is the bottom left corner of the text string. 